Hey everybody, hi! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ladiva Deluxe, Lada for short, or Elena Glaham, that's here on Mondays. But today is Friday, that means Fridays are a drag. And we're doing this look that I found on Instagram, reels out of all the places. The Vivian did this look, like quick transition set. Somebody suggested uh, uh, on my channel to do the Vivian, and there you have it. I'm going to do this look, so if you guys are interested how I came to this, <laughs> then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell, so YouTube notifies you of all new videos I upload. I upload on Mondays and Fridays, and Fridays are always a drag. Follow me on social media, all the links are down below, as well as my Patreon group. So like, comment, subscribe, and let's get right into this fabulous tutorial, Hannis. So let's do this. I'm gonna start with my Revolution Pro foundation, the one I've been panning. This is an F10, definitely a little too dark because I haven't self tan in a few days, but it does not matter because I'm wearing turtleneck so we can hide the white hands. <laughs> I've been wearing SPF 50 outside cycling. I feel like I still get color though on my face. I don't like that, but I can do nothing about it. I'm using Kimchi the most concealer and this is the medium beige. So I saw the uh, video of Vivian. I mean, I already did the Vivian kind of sort of when her palette came out, the scepter. I did her makeup, but it wasn't like exactly like the Vivian and mostly like the palette look. So I'm due. Anyway, I saw a video from two years ago. Her makeup looked a little different. But you can see the way she applies her, her base there. And she likes to highlight with a white highlighter after she highlighted and concealed everything. So that's what we're gonna do. So put in kimchi white concealer in the middle and in this tiny, tiny areas here around the inner corner. So now I'm going to use my Aesthetica palette and Tristic foundation too. Because I think Tristic is a little darker and we need a couple of colors. We shall see. I'm going to start with a medium color in Tristic and I'm going to start with the forehead. Because that's what you started with. I'm going to link that video here if you guys are interested. I would say her makeup is slightly different now. So whatever she did in that video. Uh, is a little like more extreme, like her eyebrows are a little more arched and her nose was a little skinnier, now it's a little more subdued. I'm going for the darker color from Aesthetica just to create the beige rainbow, what do we call it? So for the July I'm gonna go with Tristic, the way it's in this walnut. I'm not gonna go too high on it, because uh, she's contouring her male jaw, like she says. And I'm trying to make it just look more natural like my own. Now she contours a little bit lower than I would usually do. I contour usually towards the middle of my cheek. She contours towards the lip more. So this is gonna be more of a rounded lower cheekbone here. All right, there we go with the nose. I'm going to make it skinny, but not extreme. Like on that video, her nose is literally like a white stripe. And I think now it's a little more blended. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do some texture that Vivian actually doesn't do because Vivian's got plump lips and she's got fillers, I can tell, like many other queens do, and I ain't got no none. <laughs> so we're gonna do the fakery. I don't know if this really works, this contouring of the lips. 
because it gets blended, but hopefully it's gonna give me something. So we're going to set this with the usual air spun. In that video she actually set it with the baby powder, which I have done before, but I mostly use baby powder for face paint because it's very greasy. I don't see a reason to use baby powder here. So apparently she's been doing eyebrows before the eye makeup. Uh, well, that's what I got from receipts from screenshots. And her eyebrows used to be more arched and higher, I think. Like way higher. And now it's a little more streamlined. So I'm using hot chocolate from the Vivian Scepter palette. I'm gonna use between hot chocolate, cookie dough, and uh, flush it out to blend out here. I'm gonna try to uh, duplicate this. I'm going just a little bit higher than my usual, like my natural eyebrow. So just gonna go just slightly higher, like my eyebrows here. I go like a two millimeter side. So this is a pink, white, and yellow in a corner look, pretty much. So I'm gonna go, of course, with her palette. And I'm gonna go into this. Uh, probably, uh, I'm guessing Pink Lady and Marsha, and maybe a little bit of Medium Rare. Looks like there's a lot of uh, pink in there. So I'm gonna start with a Spectrum brush, and this is B07. It's quite large. I already put Anastasia Beverly Hills primer. I'm baked everywhere. So adding deeper shades. So we're gonna go for the medium rare, a little bit of pruned. I kind of mixed them together. One is cooler, one is warmer. I don't know. I felt like mixing. I added a little black. And there is no tutorial for this look. It's like a quick transitions look on Instagram, and I'm actually copying quick transitions <laughs> so I can do my own reel like that. But I don't have a wig like hers. I don't have these huge wigs. I need to up my wig game, but <laughs> I keep saying that. But I haven't gotten to that yet. It's such a great palette, guys. I still keep coming back to it over and over again. So I did a basic cut crease and we're going to set this with white eyeshadow from the same palette. I'm just gonna take a flat brush. So this is actually a dress up brush and a dress up 233 flat brush. The white is so good guys. I always get a kick out of a good white. Looks like she had some kind of shimmer in there. And I'm just gonna use the shimmer shadow here from this palette. It's called Marshmallow. I'm just gonna go right over the mat. It's so good, it just takes right over the mat. Now my eyes are a little bit turned up and the PV and the eyes are more like straight or maybe slightly turned down. So I'm gonna put a little bit of white in the outer corner, just a little bit. This is the eye look where uh, the waterline is actually black, but we need to alter eye shape a little bit to get a little better resemblance. Now I put a little bit of uh, base under my eye and we got gonna add black and then blend some colors she doesn't have a low lash line blown out out of proportion just like a nicely blown out but nothing crazy so I put black gel liner in the waterline and i'm gonna use yellow from the same palette i'm gonna try to apply it without uh putting any primer in here and it works the side shadow is so pigmented so we're going to blend out the low lash line with the same light to paint. Okay, so I wiped off the bake and now we're going to sculpt. I'm gonna go with the sculpt color from the palette first and then we're gonna use something darker. That's what she did in her tutorial as well. And that's what I'm gonna go with. And I'm going to go with kimchi. Zero 03 chocolate. This sculpt color is darker and I'm just gonna go into the very cheeks. I might have to lighten it up because my face might look too skinny for her. And that's not what we're trying to achieve. So 
now I'm gonna match the dolls with a lighter counter shade. It's not a counter shade, but cookie doll is just the right color for the nose. It's not too cool looking, so it's not gonna look like it's gray nose. And this is what her nose looks like on the video, pretty much. Almost looks like it's bronzed. So I'm just gonna go for that color. This is a small old elf brush. It's flat and flighty, it's just the right brush to do this kind of thing. I added a little bit of orange eyeshadow, it's called, called Orange Peel. I'm adding that because on the picture it looks like it's warm over here. So I'm adding a slightly bit of orange and going into the nose. Because I think that's what you did. So I'm going to draw a white line down the nose with a little tiny brush and the white eyeshadow. And I'm going to try her trick to use the back of the brush and pick up eyeshadow on it. Or was it cream? I don't remember, but I'm going to try. Actually, it worked <laughs> with the dry eyeshadow. So she likes to blend her contour with the MAC blush that looks kind of like a little bit bronzy, I guess. So the only thing, it's like a mauve I I don't know. The only thing similar I have is the ABH blush. This one, kind of a deadly color. <laughs> so we're gonna try this. And I'm gonna add the blush anyway. For the blush, I'm going to use a combination of the blush and the palette. And also when I add a little warmth, looks like she's got something orange in there. So I might just add orange eyeshadow. Might as well use their highlighters. Uh, this is glazed and blinding. I kind of mix them together, I guess. So just add into some basic eyeliner. I saw that she says she likes to set it with black eyeshadow. Lately I've been doing that a lot. Because no matter how matte it is, with black eyeshadow it looks matte, more matte. This is actually a Revlon. So I plopped some eyelashes on and mascara and we're gonna go for the lips. Obviously her lips are huge, so I need to pretend like I have big lips. Well, I still have the contour. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna try to recreate the lips. So I found something I haven't used before. Uh, the lipstick I was kind of brownish in that video. So I'm going to go with L'Oreal Paris and then the color 410. And it's called Enjoy. Oh, this is actually purple. I thought this was brown. Actually, I like this color, but might have to do something else on top. And she's here. <laughs> this is uh, supposedly the Vivian. No. Ignore the wig. You know, I don't have patience for teasing and styling. <laughs> I just don't. I love makeup. I can spend hours on it. But wigs is not my forte. I just need to buy a style wig, that's all. But anyway, I teased it a little bit to create. I mean, obviously hers was like this high, but mine is like... Eh. That's all I can do here on this channel. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll up my wig game, but yeah. Uh, I feel like it's a good resemblance uh, as far as the makeup goes. I don't know if I got the face resemblance. Maybe a little bit. But, you know, she's a like, very perfectly snatched, like, perfection queen. And a lot of them kind of have similar looks, so it's hard to tell who you're trying to do. Because uh, she doesn't have any specific, like, features that, oh, this is the Vivian. Except, like, I don't know. I'm not even sure what it is, but there you have it. So I'm going to link this video. It's a very short Instagram video, so you can see what was going on in there. And let me know what you think. So uh, like this video if you enjoyed it, leave me a comment. And do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet uploaded on Mondays and Fridays. And I go live on some Mondays. So follow me on social media, all the links are down below, as well as my Patreon group.
Huge thank you to all my patrons. Thank you guys so much for your support. I love you all and thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next fabulous video, Hannies. Oh, Bye.